Hey, snackers, join us for episode 26 of DevNet Snack Minute, where our favorite DevNet developer advocate, Flo, talks about industrial sensors and Meraki. Hello, snackers. This is Kareem Iskander. I'm a developer advocate with Cisco DevNet. Hi everyone, I'm Matt Napoli. I am a manager of developer advocacy with Cisco DevNet. Welcome to episode 26 of DevNet Snack Minute. DevNet Snack Minute is your weekly 10 minute all things DevNet where we learn talk about coding, APIs, or and just some cool stuff that you might want to know. And the cool thing that we're talking about today is a solution built by our own developer advocate uh, around Cisco IoT. Flo, do you mind introducing yourself? Hi, everybody. Thanks for having me again. My name is Flo Pachinger, and I'm a developer advocate focusing on IoT. Flo is actually our uh, our first repeat guest. Uh, you might have uh, caught him in episode 12, where he talked about some of our new IoT sandboxes. Uh, but he's here today, as Kareem mentioned, to talk about a really cool solution involving Meraki things and industrial sensors. So, Flo, I'm going to hand it over to you to kind of lay the groundwork. Uh, sure. Thanks, Matt. So first of all, uh, if you heard of Meraki, I'm sure of it about the access points and of course about the switching part, but then Meraki actually has Meraki MV or Meraki cameras, IP cameras. And also since like about one year ago, uh, Meraki has now as well sensing solutions. And they are as easy as other Meraki products. So basically via Bluetooth, we are BLE, uh, you basically install the sensors, which can be a water or temperature sensor, so water leak sensor, temperature sensor, door, or is it open or closed sensor? And then they will automatically connect to your Meraki MV camera or to your Meraki access point. And then you actually can already see the whole data flowing in your Meraki dashboard. The cool thing about this solution is basically it's super simple. And first of all, it is a plug and play thing. So this is the beauty of uh, what you have in, uh, in IoT. So if you have any assets well, like indoors or in the rack in the data center, but then as well in the office building, you simply place the sensor there. It is run with battery. It has a battery life of at least five years. And so you basically say, hey, uh, if the door is open, if it's closed, if something is blocking the door, but then also with the Meraki cameras, you can do quite a lot uh, what we have like um, object detection included directly on the camera uh, and then as well via an MQTT stream, what I will talk later on. Uh, that's very cool. So this is all out of the box though with Meraki dashboard, right? And in the M MV sensors and the MV cameras. Right. This is all out of the box. Uh, you can okay. uh, basically have the credentials there or like you can uh, get access there via the Meraki dashboard. Uh, and uh, with that solution, it's like a really integrated Meraki solution, uh, what you can use um, um, di directly there. And the other one I think would be Cisco Industrial Asset Vision. So this is based on actually another um, IoT technology there, which is called LoRaWAN, so Long Range Wide Area Network. And we actually support here also more several Cisco sensors there. Uh, and they are connected to our own Cisco LoRaWAN gateway, which is then again connected to our cloud-based solution, Cisco Industrial Asset Vision. So I don't know if you heard of LoRaWAN, but LoRaWAN is like a really cool and really hot, uh, hot right now uh, in the IoT space uh, because you can actually connect those sensors within a range of about 10 kilometers or like uh, uh, I, I don't know how about this is the miles, but it's like a pretty large, um, uh, large radius where you can deploy the sensors like outdoor or in the industrial space. And also here, gather the data really nicely in the Cisco Industrial Asset Vision Cloud. It's about 6.2 miles flow. Uh, uh, I know I don't look like it, everybody, but I am a runner. So that's a 10K is a, about 6.2 miles. So I, I think I see where this is going, uh, Flo. Uh, industrial Asset Vision is one platform. Meraki is another platform. We have different types of um, external sensors that we're managing data on. I have a feeling you're going to bring us into a consolidated solution. Is that where you're going with this? Exactly, exactly. So it's like it, 
of course, depends also on the use case. So, uh, first of all, and let me go to my next slide here. Uh, so, on the left side, you have Meraki dashboard and uh, where you get video data, where you get uh, sensor data there. So, it's a cool uh, place for when you're already using Meraki product, when you are indoor, when you are looking for a really nice and, and easy to deploy uh, solution in the indoor space. When it comes to uh, your use case about in the industrial space, so you need IP67 rated sensors, when you need outdoor sensors, when you need a long range and a long radius where you are connecting your assets with, then uh, you also you take industrial asset vision there. And I'm also going uh, where you see this here in the uh, in the orange boxes there is about how to get the data. And there is a bunch of way, like a really cool way, uh, how to get the data out of the products there. So on the left side, you see here video and sensors. Uh, there is actually a support of MQTT locally. So with the sensors, it's, it's on the roadmap, but on the video, on the MV cameras, you actually can get via MQTT uh, the data out of your cameras and out of your images. And on the northbound side, you have the REST APIs and the webhooks there. If you don't mind just explaining uh, what is MQTT real quick to our snackers who are not familiar with it. Yeah, definitely. Of course, Karim. So MQTT is a really lightweight um, IoT um, messaging protocol. So it is very lightweight. It has like a very light header there. It, it, it has a smaller footprint. It is also very common. So when you think about getting sensor data from uh, your sensors, from your assets to the, um, to the cloud, MQT, MQTT is basically the protocol to, to go. Also, like uh, now when we look, uh, of course, uh, on the north, uh, north side or northbound side, uh, in the Meraki dashboard, you can also get the data out via REST APIs. Or if you would like to have it really quick, so for example, if you really need to know right now who is opening the door, uh, then you can, of course, send uh, a webhook, like a webhook notification, uh, or, of course, even an email or SMS uh, when the door was open, for example. And maybe now you're wondering uh, on the right side, hey, uh, also Azure IoT Hub is actually written there uh, and even MQTT. So uh, in industrial asset vision, we have a uh, built-in support there where you can forward your data, uh, your basically your lower one asset data uh, to Azure IoT. But uh, of course you can also use uh, the already mentioned uh, really cool and de facto standard basically uh, MQTT protocol where you can just get your data from the Asset Vision Cloud to wherever you would like. Well, Flo, I'm, I'm really excited about the potential of the solution that you're talking about here. And, and I'm, you know, we at DevNet and our, all of our snackers really like finding out how to grab data from different platforms and, and consolidate them. So, um, you know, I, I'm expecting we're going we're gonna to see a demonstration of this, right? Definitely. I'll tell you what, Flo, why don't you come join us next week and we can go through the demo and how you've implemented all of this, and we'll turn this into a two-parter. How does that sound? Awesome. No, sounds really cool. Let's do this. All right. Well, that's all the time we have for today, Snackers. Uh, thank you for joining us, and uh, thank you, Flo, for getting us really excited about this really cool IoT solution. Um, join us next week where we see the culmination of this in uh, Flo's demo and all the cool code stuff that goes behind it. Uh, thank you guys for your time, and, and catch us next week. Thanks, Snackers.